Well, I think the most damning label I can apply to it is apathy. At this point, we've kind of moved beyond anger and frustration and into the realms of I don't give a shit. Most people I've spoken to have already moved on from it, and I think that's the worst fate for any story. To be forgotten. Go pretty much anywhere in the world today, and I'll bet someone there has heard of Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader and Princess Leia. No matter your age, nationality, colour or creed, we've all been touched by Star Wars in some way. It came out more than 40 years ago, but at its heart, it's a story that's timeless and universal, with characters that strike a chord generation after generation. But a few decades from now, nobody will remember Rey or Kylo Ren. Nobody will care about the First Order or the Resistance. Nobody will talk about the Battle of Crate or the death of Snoke. The story told by Disney is vacuous and shallow. Its grand concepts disorganised and blighted by ego and agenda. Its ideas and messages are so focused on our present day fears and frustrations and petty grudges that it fails to realise what made Star Wars so appealing in the first place. It was an escape from all of those things. An escape to a galaxy far, far away. And with that in mind, I want to end this review with a little message of my own to the leaders at Disney and Lucasfilm. In the very slim hope that any of you happen to be watching this video, I want to say this. I hope it was worth it. I hope the destruction of one of the greatest IPs in the history of cinema, the humiliation of characters beloved by whole generations, the perversion of the heartfelt moral lessons taught by the original trilogy, the nullification of all the struggles and triumphs and sacrifices that came before, and the brutal and permanent division of the Star Wars fanbase was all worth it for you. I hope it was worth it to have your little moments, to push your half-baked politics and current year agendas into a story that was once timeless and universal, and I hope it brought you real pride and fulfilment to mock and belittle and put down anyone who dared to question your actions. I know your pride and egos will never allow you to publicly admit just how badly you screwed this one up. I know you'll never have the backbone and humility to take responsibility for this failure, but lying awake in your beds in the small hours of the night, with only the darkness and your even darker thoughts for company, maybe you'll pause to reflect for a moment on what you did. Maybe you'll finally realise that despite all the money and the hollow accolades from people just as vacuous as yourselves, your most enduring legacy will be one of absolute failure. If anything good at all has come out of this disastrous mess, it's that the scale of your incompetence only underscores the superiority of all the movies you tried so hard to bury and forget. Working with less money, more primitive technology and fewer resources, George Lucas achieved something you'll never ever equal. A legacy to be proud of. And believe me, you're gonna have a very long time to think about that.